hi wonderful people my name is Nastasia Thomas welcome back to my youtube channel thank you guys so very much for clicking on my video I really appreciate it well today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to fix and prevent common mistakes made when constructing a lace wig so I have my canvas blockhead here I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix certain mistakes and I'll also be showing you guys which materials are best in my perspective when constructing your wig in terms of wig clips or wig combs and what size elastic band to use so yes I currently have six mistakes here um, and I'll be telling you guys how to prevent them while sewing and if you already made a wig and you have any of these mistakes I'm gonna tell you guys how to fix them all right so if that is something that you're interested in then keep on watching so the first mistake that I have is when constructing your wig you should allow the lace to be at least a hinge or a, hin or a half a hinge outwards from the cap or over the cap it and the cap should never be in the same line and as a result of that you will notice that when you put on your wig you are seeing the edges of your cap and you shouldn't see that also it will make your head look really weird like if you have like a you know big forehead or anything like that it will just enhance that and you don't want to enhance anything that is big already so depending on how big your forehead is then that will determine how much space you leave off or how much space you want to leave off or yeah so in that case you can look at this as you can see the lace and the cap is in the same the same line the same the same line pretty much and that's not right that's not right this is half an inch that was left off and this is a wig that i made i didn't make that one and just excuse this I cut off the band off of it for demonstration purposes so yeah so so as you can see right here the lace is you know a bit outer outwards compared to the cap so when you put it on the lace will be laid and you won't be able to see the cap itself and that is something that you experience with the hair that has the cap in the same line pretty much so that is one mistake so when sewing how to fix so if you already made your wig and you notice that something is wrong what you have to do you have to remove the lace so I have a tutorial on how to add a lace closure to a wig and I'll link that below because you will need to Put the, the the lace back on to the wig so you're just going to take it off and I'm going to see if I can find a clip and just insert it if possible if not I'll just link it in the description bar below and you can just click it and it will direct you to that video all right so only thing you have to do is remove the lace gently I prefer to use um, a razor because I'm I, I it's it's better for me personally it's just a personal preference but you can use a scissors just to be just to be you know safe is on we're going to pin this in place and as I said I have a video below so I won't be doing the same thing again because I want you guys to watch the video so I'm gonna zoom in right here you'll see I'm leaving out this amount yeah and
gonna take up some of this as I said there's a more detailed video on my channel the description bar will be below So the second thing is, when putting on a band, on a wig, it shouldn't go on the wig cap, it should go on the lace, because this is what keep the lace flat. These are what keep the, the wig snug to your head, right? So you have to keep this snug with the band and the combs with the, um, the combs to keep the, 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 the cap on your head. So we're going to remove this band and then we're going to attach it to the lace itself So this is actually a small band I'm going to talk to you about the sizes as well. So as you can see this is one inch or Yeah, so so I have three different sizes right here This is what I use I use two inches It's more comfortable It's way more comfortable and I'll tell you why. So I'm just gonna measure my head. Her head is a bit smaller than mine. So I'm just gonna measure it right here. And this should be okay. Okay, great. So I have three different sizes right here. So this is two inches. This is what I prefer to use. It's more comfortable. Because it's more comfortable because it won't roll up. It will stay flat like this on your head. Only problem you will have is if you have like big cane rows, it will probably squeeze on the cane rows because the band is so big. But apart from that, it's perfect. It will hold flat. It can even go on your cane rows and you won't feel anything because it's the size that I have on now on this and I have two big cane rows braids right here. So this is what I prefer to use. It's two inches. A lot of stretch so you can also use that inch and a half this is what this is I think this is what was on this one and it's comfortable it's very comfortable so I don't really have a problem with this this is mm, it's okay like you can either you can get away with this one and a half inch or the two inch preferably the two inches mm. all right this now is one this is going to hurt your head because it's not going to be as flat like this it's going to fold so once you put it in it's going to roll up like this and then it's going to feel like an elastic band in your head just hurting your head entirely so that is why i prefer not to use this half so it's the same thing that's on this the same the same size the same size so the same size so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this and I already have a video um, pretty much show you guys how to add the combs and the clips and things like that to your hair, to your wig just so that it's secure. So you can go in the description bar and you will see a link to the video how to secure your wig or how to support your wig. It will tell you how to sew on the elastic band the wig clips or it combs to your um to your your wig also i have a preference a personal preference 
um, when it comes down to wig clips or wig combs I prefer to use the wig combs because they're way more comfortable and I have natural hair and I'm, I'm about the natural hair um, journey um, so I don't like these yeah I don't I don't like these these will pull your hair out I don't like these I prefer to use these one they are way more comfortable once you push it in it's in you don't have to clip in anything and these are too small like you can see the difference it's small in terms of the comb like it's small it's really small it's really really small so I don't like I don't like that so I'm going to be sewing on this on to the closure so I'm gonna add it right here as I said I have a more detailed video so I won't be going in you know detail for detail so I'm just gonna add it in so if you already made your wig with the band attached to down here just have to remove it and just add it back to the closure while making your wig, you just do it the, 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 the correct way first. So if you already made the mistake, just remove it and add it back to the top and everything will be perfect. Okay, so here's the band all snatched on to the place. So she just put it over like this and hopefully it's not tight. <laughs> That's a lot of stretch to me though. All right, so the third mistake is when you're sewing on your on your cap, right? There's an elastic band that is in the cap. This is the elastic band, and this is the fabric. The fabric also come over the elastic band right on the outer parts right here. When sewing the bundles on the cap you shouldn't sew on the elastic band you should only sew on the fabric i'm just going to use my t-pin to show you what the fabric when you get the fabric it should look like this this is just the fabric just look for the fabric and make sure that when you're going in with the needle you only take up the fabric from the part where the elastic band is so that is just how to prevent that from happening if you already made a wig and it's small as a result of you sewing this what you there are two things that you can do you can either slit the elastic band where you sew on or you can just move around it and remove the ones that go it that went into the that went into the elastic band so it will mean that you will move along the edges right here and just remove these one, these outer ones and just sew them back. As you can see right here, you can see where this is lifting, right? So let me turn this way. You can see where this is lifting because it's not on the elastic band itself. It's just on the fabric part that comes over the elastic band, the mesh part. If you're using a mesh cap, this is a mesh cap. So you can see the mesh right here and this is the regular dome cap. So you can either move along the stitching right here and remove them one by one just around it and then sew it back on. That is what I would recommend. But if you don't want to do that, you can just move along and just slit the elastic band just to give it some more stretch. So that is how you fix that problem. So if you have a small cap, if you make your wig and it's small, you either remove the stitching from around it and then stitch it back uh, without stitching the elastic band or you just slit the elastic band with a razor or a scissors Just to allow some stretch or some movement and hopefully then it will fit All right, but if you are making your wig using the dome cap or the mesh cap you stitch only the fabric Right, so that's number three So what we're going to do now is how to um, fix a wig that is big you know you underestimate the measurement or you use a, 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 a larger um, canvas head than what you're used to um, how you fix that all right so 
using this same wig and that is why I removed the elastic band so that I can demonstrate much better. With all of this space, I'm going to sew it all together. Right, so I spoke about going through the tracks, so let's see. You can just stitch them together, meaning stitch the tracks together. Let me show you. Allow me to show you guys. I hope you can see what I'm doing. space so it will be shorter so if you if it is that you have a lot of space in the back of your head and you're feeling all of this space this is how you remove that space by stitching the the cap um bet stitching between the tracks to just remove the excess space right however if the if the the cap itself is big how you fix that it's just something similar to what I showed you guys so you can, like look for something like here so I'll be sewing like small pieces like this throughout the head just to make it small I actually did this on one here and I'm gonna show you guys just hold on a minute okay so this is a wig that I made with no measurement at all I just went in freehand because I feel like I'm still like that and as a result I had to make the wig smaller because the wig was a bit too big as i was saying i went in and i just sew in between uh, any areas that any open area that i found i just pinch it together like this pull it together like that and then just sew it just so that it's a bit smaller so i'm just gonna show you guys um hopefully i can find needle and thread through any space that I could find and I just pull it together just to make sure that I'm not sewing any tracks and once I have that I just sew I just sew I just I just I just sew So sew your wig, make your wig, construct your wig. The best thing to do is to make get the measurement right. I don't have my tape measure to show you guys, but I can find a, a um, picture so I can insert the picture just to show you guys how to actually do measurements, like how to measure your wig before you make it. So yeah. Also, I have one last one. It's the fifth one that I have. 
All right, so when you're bleaching your hair, I know I mention this all the time because it's important. Try not to make the mixture with, with the basic white and the volume, for, volume developer too liquidy. If it's too liquidy, it will seep through the lace and then bleach the hair, the hairs that are closest to the lace itself. And you don't want that. Because you will see you have a black, black wig and then the roots blonde. That not pretty no that that can't pretty make it as thick as possible so that it will pretty much rest on the lace if you let it go through the lace like the most you can leave it for is 10 5 minutes if so long and when you leave it for five minutes when you take it off the late the, the knots itself which is what you want to bleach won't only the hair will bleach because it not take a longer time to bleach than, than the hair itself and you will realize that when you bleach your hair or when you say you're going to bleach the knots the knots don't bleach the knots are still black and the roots are are, are blonde or start are like worse not blonde but like like orange that's ugly that's really that's super ugly so be careful when um, making a mixture. I'm gonna see if I can insert a clip, but if I can't, I'm going to link two videos that I did already that has information on that below. I'll list all of the videos <clears throat> that can help you guys in uh, um, in constructing your wig and preventing these problems and how to. Just making a chop pass. okay yeah and how to actually fix these problems so that brings us to the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up share this video with anyone that you think needs help or anyone that you think is interested in seeing this video and also press the subscribe button if when you look down below it's red it means that you're not subscribed to me and why wouldn't you want to be subscribed to me so just press that subscribe button down below and subscribe to me Nastasia. Thank you guys again for watching. Until the next video, do take care and have a wonderful new year.